Support Tools and Sense. This is the show where I build the things any logical person would just buy off the internet. Today I'll be building this spinning platform for photos or display. So when I asked the wife what she wanted for Christmas, she told me she wants a rotating platform for photography of both her cosplay outfits and props she might make. And she wants that platform to rotate on its own. This was cheaper than buying a piece of plywood because wood's crazy right now. And then needs a motor, controller, gotta make some wheels, easy peasy. To quote the great Ron Swanson, people who buy things are idiots. Well, the first thing I need to make is a drive wheel, which will attach to the motor and then push the platform along as it rotates. This wheel will attach to the motor's drive shaft and be held in place with a key. All right, well, I've never cut a keyway before, so I had to buy a new tool. This is a keyway brooch, and I bought the cheapest one, so it didn't come with any guides. I had to make the guide on the lathe, but that wasn't too difficult. And then you just use the press or an arbor press if you have one to run it through. It gets gradually wider as it goes and it cuts a nice keyway so that you can put it on the shaft. Now the drive wheel needs to have some grip on the rotating platform. So I made a sort of tire out of this old inner tube. Next thing I need to do is make a sort of guide edge that goes around on the inside of the platform. Now this is a little bit tricky because it needs to be smooth on both the inside and the outside. It needs to be smooth on the inside so that the guide wheels can ride along it, and it needs to be smooth on the outside for purely aesthetic reasons. Because of that, you can't have any brackets or screws or bolts sticking out, so I need a perfectly round piece of material. After a lot of trial and error, I found the way to steam bend some thinner pieces of wood and make a circle. With some help from my intern, I was able to make eight of these crescent-shaped pieces, which will now be glued and clamped together in order to make one complete ring. With the ring done, I can now remove all of the guide posts and then glue it back in place. The next thing I need to do is build a base for the motor and the guide wheels to sit on. This 50 year old wood paneling should do nicely. And it spins, but only if I keep it on track. So I need to do something to keep it centered. This unused idler pulley should do a nice job of keeping the platform centered. And this bolt is going to be welded to a piece of steel. This will form an alignment pin which will sit in the center of the base. Well, next thing to do is make it look pretty. I'm going to use some of this quarter inch plywood to form the skirt which goes around the outside edge of the platform. I'll need to steam bend this plywood as well, but it wouldn't fit inside the box I built, so I had to improvise. And with that, the structure is all done. So the next thing to do is rip it all apart and start over. Now, why do I need to do that? Because I let this project sit for a week and when I came back, it didn't work anymore. That edge glued tabletop that I'd used because I thought it was gonna save me so much time had warped, even though it was sitting inside in a climate controlled garage with no temperature or humidity fluctuations, still managed to warp itself like crazy. So I need to start all over and this time build it with engineered wood that won't be nearly as prone to warpage. 
And done. For real this time. Nice and flat. Now I wanted to pretty this thing up and paint just wasn't going to cut it. So I opted for some nice flat black laminate sheet. And as you can see I brought my assistant back to aid in the marking and gluing. Contact cement will hold it all together nicely provided I can get it lined up and on there good and straight or at least close enough. Route a bit on the end of a die grinder will help me clean up those edges. And then repeat the process for the large piece on the top. A little bit of cleanup and some more trimming, and we're ready to shoot video like this. Well, that does it for today's episode of More Tools and Sense. Tune in next time as I build some other oddly specific thing nobody needs. <laughs>